After the infamy of June 17, Mandy came on her YouTube channel and gave us this, which was allegedly the last prophetic letter from the Lord to his people before the wrath began. And at the time that I saw this, I was thinking, well, she better, she better hope that some wrath begins or this is going to be foolish. And when a week went by and there was no more activity, uh, we were talking amongst ourselves that she has now painted herself into a corner because nothing is happening, so she has no new content, and yet 15,000 people are waiting for an update. So we were waiting to see what the answer would be, and lo and behold, we got our answer. Her fans started asking her, when are they going to get more messages from her, and Mandy has the solution. When the Lord said it was his last letter, he meant it was his last letter to Mandy. Eh? Eh? Which means that some other person is free to step in and take over that job. And apparently there is a person lined up to do this who is in contact with Mandy. And Mandy has chosen to endorse this person as the new official person to go to for letters from the Lord. And when I clicked on that link, I ended up here at the channel called A Voice Calling. Behold Mandy's replacement. You knew before you saw. She began this channel in early May, right at the height of Mandy's May rapture fever. And after she made her channel, she quickly jumped right into confirming the May 22nd rapture date. When this came and went, she decided to then just start sharing her own personal prophetic messages, including this odd one from about a month ago when she told us Ron DeSantis would soon step down. Not exactly sure what that's about. Undeterred, she pressed ahead, and before long, she was sharing daily updates of messages from the Lord. Does this look familiar? Yeah, it sounds pretty familiar, too. Hear me, daughter. I am here. I see you and I hear you. You do not need to fear. How can man earn his way to the Father's heart? He can't. The messages are incoherent word salads with Bible verses randomly splashed in. And if you thought Mandy was bad at this, you ain't seen nothing yet. This poor lady here, bless her heart, she tries so hard, in this recent video that she put up on June 25th, in the middle of her giving a prophetic manifesto, uh, she randomly just started quoting from the Lord's Prayer. Be bold, children. Be bold in the truth of your identity. Sing to me, children, for yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power and yours is the glory. Yes, she spouted off the final sentence of the Lord's Prayer in the middle of a manifesto. I'm not trying to be mean here, but I just need a minute. She tried to smooth it over at the end of the video, but the damage was done. And if you think that was bad, she's just getting started. It's not exactly a secret that Mandy is very weak in theology and is completely fogged on the whole notion of the Trinity. But at least Mandy was able to mostly keep it between the lines and kind of, you know, keep her ignorance somewhat hidden. Um, not our new friend. Our new friend, um, I'm going to play a clip for you. And uh, if you are someone who is familiar with Trinity theology, just brace for impact. That's all I'm going to say. Children, I will never leave you or forsake you. That is a promise. I am your father, and I do not abandon my children. Children, listen to me. I will speak to you. Do you know who I am? Do you know my name? I am your father. I am he. I am the one who flows through your veins, who dwells in your hearts, who calls you by name. Come to me, my children. Eat of my flesh and drink from my cup. Be filled and be restored by the power of my blood. Oh, Calgon, where are you now? Please take me away. Anyhow, folks, there you have it. Incoherent theology, incoherent word salads, 
lots of stumbling and stuttering over her notes. But at least it's a nice close-up of a pretty face in makeup. Yeah, that's Mandy's replacement, all right. I guess the rest of us will just wait and see how the train wreck goes from here.